We're going to get a little bit salty with this one. Hello and welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Today, you saw in a recent video where we put walnut scales on this $1 knife, made it look a lot better. Today, I'm going to show you how to etch the blade with uh, salt water and electricity. And we're going to add some little design to it. I'm not going to get too detailed with it. The options are pretty much endless on what you can do with it. I'm just going to show you the concept and how it works and take a look at it at the end, see what it looks like and just add a little more flair to this knife. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape. I'm going to put it along here. I don't want any I don't want any of the etching solution to get up into the wood or anything like that. And do this to the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape off I'm just going to make this pretty simple and basic as far as what can be done uh, just to show the concept and everything. I'm just going to put a line down it. I'm going to etch a line in it. So we're going to tape off everything here. I'm going to take another piece of tape. Maybe. Okay. And I'm just gonna eyeball this, but you're welcome to like make lines on it, mark everything out just right, or whatever. But tape this off. All right, now for the etching solution, it's just water. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot, you know, however much you want. And then salt. Um, you can't really, you can't necessarily over salt this. All this is doing is making the solution very, very high in saline concentration. This makes it very salty, which also makes it very conductive. And you're gonna see why that's important here in just a minute. Just go on and stir that up. This looks like it could use just a little bit more salt, so let me just. Now, what's gonna happen is the etching solution that we made of just salt water is going to be used along with just a regular car battery charger. Um, a standard one. Smart chargers don't seem to work very well. They want to cut out whenever they're uh, having interference, which is basically what we're going to do with this. But we're going to put... We can peel this back just a little bit. We're going to put the positive lead on the piece. It's a good way to remember it. Uh, positive goes on the piece that you're going to be working on and the negative clamp is going to be put we're going to use it to hold this piece of cotton that's going to be dunked down into our solution and held on to the knife for a few seconds at a time going down throughout it and it's going to etch down into the exposed metal here uh, let me get everything set up and we'll take a look at it also i'm going to be using this on the 12 volt 6 amp setting um, you can use other settings 10 uh, 10 volt or I'm sorry 12 volt 10 amp however you want to do it I'm just gonna be using the 12 volt 6 amp setting on this one all right so I've got this clamp down a little bit just keep it from moving while I'm doing this so what I'm gonna do is stir this up again if you want make sure it's stirred up real good and I'm gonna dunk this down in here and I'm just going to saturate it pretty good Make sure to stay away from your other lead. It's not going to really, really do anything except spark, but it could cause issues with your charger or something. Uh, this is going to be held down on the exposed metal for a few seconds at a time. I'm going to work my way back and forth. The longer you leave it on there, the more it's going to etch, the deeper the etch is going to be. So that's something you just have to watch and kind of learn as you go. Uh, that's why it's also good to use like cheap knives like this because you, if you mess one up, you know it was a dollar, so you're not really out much. So let's go on and do it, take a look at it. I'm 
be sure you're wearing some kind of um, mask or that you're in a well ventilated area just put off some pretty funky fumes I don't think they're gonna kill you but I don't know so I'm not gonna risk it after a few times you'll notice that it starts to get dried out so don't get back in the solution and continue on At this point, if you want, you can take a paper towel and wipe everything. You can take a look at it and see how, how it's doing. Right now, you see it's just barely starting to etch in. So I'm going to go back over it again. And something else you can do, you can either get another piece of cotton. You can actually use Q-tips for this as well. You get the Q-tip, you just or uh, you just get the clamp really close down to the edge of the Q-tip. But with this one, something like this, just go to a different spot, a uh, fresher piece. And that'll that should help burn better because what's happening over here is it's starting to build up a layer of I'm not real sure what that is but it's building up a layer of something that gets in between the metal and the cotton and doesn't let it burn quite as well Always be sure to dab when you're doing this. Just come off of the piece, come back down onto it in a different spot. Um, it doesn't work when you try to you try to drag it. It doesn't really work that well when you do it that way. So always just come through. And uh, to keep a consistent depth, pretty much, is as you're going down through it, do like a uh, like a three count or a four count, depending on how long you want to do it, five, six, whatever, however long you're going to do it. And just hold it in that area for the same amount of time before you move it on each on each step. That way, um, it'll it'll keep your depth a lot better. There won't be any up and down inconsistencies with the depth of your etch. Something you can do at this point also is pull back a piece of the tape, and you can actually tell you can see it, but you can also feel it. There's a lip right there where the etch has actually gone into the metal, which is what we want. Um, <clears throat> So now, at this point, if you wanted, let me wipe a little bit off. If you wanted kind of a a dirtier etch, a dirtier look in the etch, uh, you're welcome to just take the tape off right now and wipe this down with some mineral spirits or, you know, soap and water. You can just wash it off real good. Uh, but if you want to kind of clean clean the etch up a little bit, of course, first thing you do is just take some take a paper towel and just wipe all this out wipe everything else off every, off of the tape and everything just get it out of the way all the liquid and all the other junk get it get it gone and like I said if you wanted something like this uh, let's see if I can kind of show you if you wanted kind of a contrast like that you just take the tape off right now clean it up and you're ready to go if you want to kind of clean up the etch a little bit just take a real fine sandpaper like a thousand grit two thousand grit doesn't have to be anything crazy and just go in and lightly sand over the spot that you just etched and it's not it's not exactly going to make it shine like brand new it is still going to have that etched look so it is going to be kind of Kind of a you know dirty looking or a, a darker it's just going to be darker overall but this will clean it up a little bit kind of smooth things out some at this point same thing take a paper towel get a new one if you want i'll get it wet have a wet spot or just use a some kind of a wet paper towel gets down into the edge a little better cleans everything up and now, you can peel the tape off. And you now have an etched blade. 
and wipe everything down again. Like I said, you can clean it up with soap and water. All right, now I'm just going to use this wet paper towel just to show you. But even with the tape, it makes good crisp lines. You can, I guess you can hear it and kind of see that it's catching right there too. It's etched down in there. Gives it a neat look. Um, the possibilities on this are pretty much endless because you can you can use vinyl stickers um, with any design you want on them. And you can go through and just etch a specific design on here if you want. So the possibilities are pretty much endless. So that's, that's how you use a battery charger to etch a knife. Etch metal essentially. Uh, pretty much any type of metal that I'm aware of will work. So there you go. So there's how you can etch metal with salt water and electricity. Pretty neat. You can take a knife, like I said, this started out as a one dollar knife with plastic handles on it. And now has wood handles on it and it has a nice little etch design in it. Um, you do you can do this to the other side. You can do whatever kind of design you want, like I said, with the vinyl or however you want to do it. It's just a really neat idea. That's gonna do it for this one. Thank you all for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of the upcoming videos. Thank you all. Thank you for stopping by. See you next time. Take care. Hello and welcome. No, don't do that. Hang on. Now has wood hand all. <coughs> if you like the content here, don't forget to 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 to